Well, you guys start, and I'll, I'll, I'll cover. Okay. What key do you do? I, I, I don't know. When he did discover the tuba, uh, he was having his piano lesson. I was at his house, um, and the piano was on one wall and the couch was on the other. And he had a white um, sousaphone like yours sitting on the couch. He'd gotten it from school, and uh, uh, he, I was, he was playing along in his lesson just fine. But then, if I stopped to show him anything or write any fingers, fingering on his music, He'd be up off that bench and onto the couch with the sousaphone on, boom! And then, he, you know, he would play a couple notes and then he'd give his cute little giggle. <laughs> I remember when he was learning the Rite of Spring with the orchestra, and he'd, uh, the first time he'd play it along with the, a recording of it. And um, I'll never hear that part again without thinking of Ed, but he'd um, always play that for me. Uh, when I'd see it. And uh, he'd play outside the opera house. Uh, and I had season tickets to the symphony, so I'd see him there regularly. And he'd see me coming, and so he'd start playing the Rite of Spring. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd say, Penny McLeod, my piano teacher. <laughs> and then right, Rite of Spring. <laughs> Up to see him after the concert, and uh, it was always, Hi, Penny. <laughs> so, many fond memories of Ed. It was an adventure teaching him. Oh, I bet. Yes. <laughs> and he really could play the piano. Yes. At the church, we had no idea until we had a talent show. Mm -hmm. And Ed got up there and started playing the piano. He, he rocked out on a 12-bar boogie-woogie jam that just blew the church away. And when he was done, the church erupted into violent applause in total amazement yeah. that Ed had that much talent. Yeah. So there is, there is a lot of, of musical talent that was behind that tuba that you heard reverberating between the buildings. It's sure a lot of fun teaching him and uh, you know, just hearing his uh, excitement and joy. So. Many ushers here at Seattle Center that have grown to love Ed. I've known Ed for about 20 years. I work at the Opera House, and I spent many time outside with him, watching him greet our guests as they came to our events. And he was also out there at the exit as our guests left the events. And I, so, what I grew to enjoy all the all his favorite little sayings. Sometimes he'd be out there playing on his tuba, and as a car drove by and started hooting their tooting their horn, he'd slowly put down his tuba and he'd say, "I disagree." <laughs> <laughs> Or there'd be sometimes he played his tuba and uh, someone would toot their horn and then he'd look at me and say, Nice horn! <laughs>